There's this idea I've seen popping up from a handful of friends across social media, all liberal, very progressive folks. It basically goes like this. I love all of Bernie Sanders' ideas, but even if he were to get elected, he wouldn't be able to get a single thing done. It'd be total gridlock. I'm going to try to convince you that this line of thinking is wrong. Now, I can totally see why Bernie reads to some progressives as just an outlier, someone on the fringes of Washington. I can see how you might think of him as being just a straight up ideologue, unable and unwilling to compromise. And it's definitely good to temper expectations around the power of the presidency, as we've seen with Obama being considered a quote unquote failure by many progressives, not because he didn't get a ton of stuff done, which he did, but because our expectations for hope and change were simply sky high. Obama didn't swoop in and completely change the game. Like any good pragmatist, he made compromises and worked hard to improve things incrementally. You know who else has been doing that? And for the last 30 years, Bernie. In fact, the Wall Street Journal, you know, a well-known liberal mouthpiece, ran a story in July that described Bernie as a lawmaker whose legislative record is mostly made up of modest wins captured through compromise. That might not sound like much, but it also doesn't sound like the record of an ideologue. And in our political climate, that's how you get it done. So let's look at three examples of this. First, community health center expansion. Community health centers provide care to anybody and everybody, regardless of health, access to insurance, and even the ability to pay. They are founded and run by a board made up of patients and local residents. They're often the only health care option in rural communities. According to The Intercept, Bernie Sanders has, over the years, found ways to get funding for these health centers into appropriations bills signed by George W., into Obama's stimulus plan, and through the earmarking process. But his biggest contribution to these community-run health centers came during the fight for Obamacare. Now, we all know Bernie is running on the idea of a single-payer system, and of course, like many of us, that's what he would have preferred back in 2010. But this firmly held belief in a single-payer system didn't stop him from expanding the number of people with access to these health clinics from 18 million all the way up to 28 million. How did he do that? In a series of high stakes legislative maneuvers, Sanders struck a deal to include 11 billion for health clinics in the law. Can an uncompromising ideologue pull off high stakes legislative maneuvers? Definitely not. I'll put a link to this article from The Intercept in the description. It's well worth a read for Bernie fans and skeptics alike. It pulls into sharp focus his ability to not only make things happen, but actually improve the lives of everyday people. All right, number two the auditing of the Federal Reserve. After the financial crisis, Bernie got a bill through the Senate with a 96 to zero vote that called for a one-off audit of the Fed, specifically covering the time when the Fed was propping up failing banks and institutions. So here's the thing. Bernie's original bill, like a version that Ron Paul got passed in the House, had called for full and routine audits of all the Fed's records. When it was clear that wasn't gonna happen, despite it very much being what he thought was best, Bernie compromised and got the bill passed, limiting its scope. Ron Paul called the bill watered down, which it was, but Senator David Vitter's amendment, which added back in the bits about full and routine audits, failed to get the votes it needed to pass. So Bernie is not analogous to Ron Paul. Ron Paul won't compromise. Bernie will and does, and that's why he gets it done. Finally, there's a Veterans Affairs scandal and the subsequent bill that Bernie played a huge part in getting passed. The VA was severely mismanaged and underfunded. In Phoenix, 40 patients died in 2013 while waiting for appointments. In the midst of the scandal, Bernie, who was then the chairman of the Senate Veterans Committee, worked first with John McCain and then with Republican chairman of the House Committee on Veterans Affairs, Jeff Miller, to push through a bill that got $5 billion to go towards VA improvements, $1.5 billion for leases on 27 major medical facilities, and another $10 billion into a thing called the Veterans Choice Fund, which allows the VA to buy care from non-VA doctors if the wait times at the VA are too long. In other words, a private care option, the opposite of what you'd expect from Bernie. Now, in a perfect world, where Bernie didn't have to fight and compromise with Republicans for every last penny for veterans, Bernie would have been able to give the VA what they said they needed, which was $17.6 billion, or, you know, a fraction of a fraction of the total cost of the Iraq and Afghanistan wars. The Republicans pushed back at every turn, though, and rather than refuse to budge, Bernie compromised where he needed to in order to get a bill passed. Something is better than nothing. Incremental change. 
It's also worth noting that this bill was produced in four months, four months, which in Washington DC time is like a millisecond. So these are just three relatively recent examples of Bernie's ability to compromise and get it done. He may sound to some like an inflexible, unwavering mountain, unable to hear other points of view, but this could not be further from the truth. He has deeply held beliefs, but he doesn't let those beliefs get in the way of progress. If Bernie gets elected, it'll be because millions of us decided that enough was enough. And hopefully that will mean he won't have to compromise quite so much because he'll have the strength of the people behind him. Hopefully that'll mean single payer health care, an end to Citizens United, breaking up the big banks, police and prison reform, and that corporations and rich people will pay their fair share. But whatever happens, I just want to make this perfectly clear. Bernie Sanders gets shit done. 